I'm asked to draw an ellipse having been given the major axis and a point on the curve of the ellipse. Okay, so I don't know the length of the minor axis. That's what I need to find. So I first find the position of the minor axis and I can do that by bisecting the major axis. Okay, so I'll just quickly bisect the major axis. Open the compass up to half the length of the line. Describe an arc above and below the line. And that will give me the position of the major, sorry, the minor axis. So I'm lightly drawing the minor axis there. Next, I'll draw the major auxiliary circle. Okay, so I know the center point of my circle is here. So I'll put my compass there and open the point of the compass up to the end of the major axis. And draw in my major auxiliary circle. Sorry. Like so. Okay. Now, there's a set procedure we must follow in order to find the uh, minor axis. So, from the point P, I must connect that parallel to the minor axis up until it hits the major auxiliary circle. So from the point P, draw it parallel to the minor axis until it hits the major auxiliary circle. Where it hits the circle, join that back to the center point. And then from the point P, bring it across parallel with the major axis until it hits this line. And this distance here is the radius of the minor auxiliary circle. So our minor axis is found there. So we have our two concentric circles. Just draw the ellipse in as normal. Divide it into 60 and 30 degrees and find our points on the curve. And that's it.